ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We gotta talk about uh white people news. Okay. Now I notice a lot of y'all black uh commentators ain't really been talking about this. Why am I the only black person speaking? on Sam Bateman free. Why y'all not talking about this? This is good, good tea, okay? Y'all need to be blasting him the same way y'all blast black folks news. Let this be a black person arrested. It be all over the shade room. This white boy done stole all this crypto money. He been out here doing clubhouse interviews and you know, going back and forth with YouTubers. I'm the only one covering this shit. But I, I like finance, so to me, it's I, I love it. From the time it broke, I've been talking about it on Discord. We had a whole Zoom meeting the day it broke. Like, get in here. We got to talk about this. Well, he's been arrested, and I'm here for it. So if y'all don't know, freaky old Sam Bankman Freed, who was having all these orgies, yes, the man with the crazy hair, oh, he was fucking his whole company. They had ready, if y'all don't know, in their home in the Bahamas, all the employees lived there, because one but 20 of them. And they would have wild group sex. Him and Gretchen Grundler, okay? Miss Ellison. They'd all be having, they were all like pansexuals. <clears throat> so him, Gretchen, all the employees, they'd just be sleeping together. I said, what in the sex ritual is going on here? Y'all are messing with crypto. Y'all are fucking each other in the office. What is this? What kind of ritual are we doing here? Okay, he's a freak. He's a certified freak. But, but remember, all these people swerving down because he was, you know, a wild, you know, he's just a young little white boy with the crazy hair and he drives a Toyota. Oh, he's so innocent. He sleeps on a beanbag. Yeah, while getting hair from everybody in his office. Anyways, he has been arrested and I'm here for it. Um, Let's go ahead and watch these videos of San Bankman Freed, Minnie Madoff. He's facing a lot of charges, too. A lot, a lot of charges, man. They are not playing with him. Is this the video? Let me see. Because I had a few videos up on him. I think this is it, yeah. Lead ...to what Sam Bankman Freed was tweeting in the days leading up to the bankruptcy there. Now, that's not to say that finance is anything like what was happening at FTX, but... Right. We don't know because these aren't regulated entities. And Is this a buyer beware situation for anything that's an unregulated offshore entity? Um, that's probably fair. An, an offshore entity operated by people who are not providing complete transparency. Um, we don't know. And I wouldn't want to speculate about the condition of those. Now, we've got other exchanges that I mean, Coinbase is a public I don't think this is the one because this dude is boring as hell. It might be this one. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Because that, oh, he was dry. Dry as hell. Okay, y'all can't hear? Hold on. Yes or no? No sound? Okay. This, the way they have it, it's just, it sucks. Hold on. Because that other guy was so dry. But I want y'all to hear this with sound, so let me go back to this screen. They should have just let this shit how it used to be. Let me see which one is this. Charged. Hold on. Okay. All right, let me play it over. I bail as he fights extradition back to the U.S., where prosecutors have charged him with a massive years-long fraud. Chief Business Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is at the U.S. Attorney's Office here in New York. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, George. And that Bahamas judge denying Sam Bankman freed bail, the former poster child for transparency in crypto, considered a heightened flight risk. 
This morning, the founder of FTX, one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, waking up behind bars in the Bahamas, charged in a scheme that investigators say stole billions of dollars from customers and investors. This is one of the biggest financial frauds in American history. Sam Bankman fried denied bail as he faces SEC charges and eight counts of criminal fraud, including money laundering and wire fraud. He used that money for his personal benefit, including to make personal investments and to cover expenses and debts of his hedge fund, Alameda Research. But in an interview with our George Stephanopoulos just two weeks ago, Bankman Freed repeatedly denied knowing FTX funds were being misused. Did you know that these funds were being funneled to Alameda? I did not know that there is any improper uh, use of customer funds. Bankman Freed's lawyer telling ABC News he's considering all his legal options. The 30-year-old founder, once celebrated as the poster child for transparency in crypto, partnering with celebs like Steph Curry and Tom Brady. His parents, Stanford law professors, by his side through its rise. His father even allegedly giving Bankman Freed legal advice and receiving payments. But then, nearly a month ago, FTX filing for bankruptcy. Bankman Freed stepping down as CEO and customers defrauded of over $8 billion, according to federal authorities. Entrepreneur Evan Luthra says he lost more than $2 million in FTX's crash. We do not plan to get scammed. What happened here was an outright case of fraud. On Tuesday, the new FTX CEO, John Ray, testifying on Capitol Hill, calling it embezzlement. This is just taking money from customers and using it for your own purpose. Ray also revealing how the company kept track of business using the chat app Slack and QuickBooks. Literally, you know, there's no record keeping whatsoever. They use QuickBooks, a multi-billion dollar company using QuickBooks. This is absolutely astounding for a company that was valued earlier this year at $32 billion. Today, the Senate will hold its own hearings on FTX. Sam Bankman fried will not be there. He continues to remain in the Bahamas and looks like he will fight that extradition. And then you have the new CEO of FTX telling Congress yesterday he'll do everything in his power to track down this money, but there are billions still missing. Sam Bankman Fried was a major political donor. He invested in a number of companies, and now there are calls for those politicians and those businesses to give that money back. Michael? Want to know? Mm. Oh, the rabbit hole goes deep with this Sam Bank Bankman Fried situation. Um, I think the part that got me is this idiot using QuickBooks. Now, I'm no knock against QuickBooks, I've used them. But even I've gotten to the point where QuickBooks does not work for my business. I had to hire a CPA that goes through my account every month and balances my, you know what I'm saying, my account. Like I pay like 500 bucks a month, right? And she goes through my account. If I have a dedicated CPA for my little ass company, this man has a billion, like a multi-billion dollar company and he's using QuickBooks. Like I'm, I'm confused as to how nobody went to peel back this onion on how this company was even vi valuable, able to survive making money. It doesn't make any sense. Regular people use QuickBooks. People who work at KFC use QuickBooks. Why does he not have a whole bunch of CPAs and accountants checking the ins and outs of this? Oh, wow, because it's a scam. That's why he didn't want any financial people in his business because he was just helping himself. Another thing I find very interesting is, of course, everybody who works for him, the new CEO, everybody's going to try and put the blame on him. But all these people were aware, for the most part, of what was going on. It's just like the R. Kelly situation. Remember, as soon as he got into legal trouble, all of a sudden everybody was jumping ship. You know, nobody, oh, I've never seen anything. I didn't know nothing. You know, they went from that to, oh, uh, 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 R. Kelly married Aaliyah. <clears throat> R. Kelly had me recruiting girls at the mall. All of a sudden, they all wanted to speak to save themselves. And I feel like that's what's going on with all these people that worked at um, Alameda Research and for um, FXT. 
FTX, whatever the hell. Another thing that's very funny is he's complaining and he's saying he needs to be released from jail. Not because, you know, he's not guilty, you know, not because of like anything, you know, crazy. He thinks that he shouldn't be in jail because he's a vegan. Let me show you. You can't make this. This is just the most spoiled, pompous man. So he's currently in jail in the Bahamas. And he's. they said he tried to use his vegan diet to get released from jail after he was arrested. Um, basically, his lawyers are arguing that he should be released because of his vegan diet and reliance on several medications. What? Do you know how many folks go to jail and they have like real illnesses, cancer, uh, lupus? No one gives a shit about their diet. Nobody cares. Why should he even be allowed to be petitioned out? Because he's a vegan. This man is not even taking this situation seriously. He's literally trying to petition to be let out because of his diet. You can't make this up. Yes, it is the, the privilege of it all. Sounds about white. <laughs> he said, I got I don't have this broccoli hair for nothing. But um another thing that's very, very I'm I'm staying on top of this case. Another thing that's coming to light, <clears throat> and we talked about this last week was all his political donations. Now, he did donate to both sides. A lot of people were saying that it was only the, the Democrats, but he definitely sent donations to the Republican Party as well. But he sent far more money to the Democratic Party. There's even a video of Miss Maxine Waters blowing him kisses on the Senate floor, which was just weird. Like, do you normally blow kisses at people? Oh, just the ones that grease your palm? Got it. So she's blowing him kisses a year ago. He's donated millions of dollars. Um, his family, um, his mom, father, they've been big supporters of the Democratic Party for years. I believe as more stuff comes out, the last thing he will need to worry about is his vegan diet. He better hope he, he does not wind up stinking somewhere, to be honest with you. How many crypto people have wound up dead in the past less than two months me and lady j talked about this on the most recent podcast i think the more they appeal back on this situation and they see how many companies were involved and receive and were receiving basically stolen funds from him it might lead them to put a uh uh what is that called a bounty on his head so while he's worrying about a damn, you know, veggie plate, you better be worried about that damn bounty because you have a lot of people involved in this case that were receiving big money. This man was making changes with his money that affected the world. A lot of people tend to say, well, what's the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire? There's no difference. It doesn't matter. It definitely matters. Anybody can be a millionaire. Only a select few are billionaires. Billionaires make changes that change the world globally. That is the difference. Your neighbor could be a millionaire. He's not necessarily going to change the world. He can change his lifestyle. He can, you know, look out for his family. Billionaires change the world. And that's what this man was doing. So I hate when people are like, there's no difference. It's just a zero. No, it's not. Learn the difference. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.